If you were expecting negotiations over the state's 2010 teacher and principal evaluation law to result in radical changes, then you may be disappointed in the outcome. While there were some notable reforms, the spirit and intent of the original law will essentially remain in place, assuming the state legislature approves the APPR revisions. The law will still require school boards and employees to negotiate through collective bargaining such items as the use of scoring rubrics and appeals procedures. And school districts still face the loss of next year's state aid increase if they cannot come to terms on a new evaluation system by January. Thankfully, the evaluation agreement better defines the scope of negotiations and should help usher in local agreements. There are several other positive changes in store to help you identify quality teaching and improve overall instruction in your district. For one, with the lawsuit now resolved, student performance is finally a key factor in employee evaluations. Furthermore, districts will need to obtain sign-off from the Education Department on their final evaluation agreements, thereby ensuring that their plans are meeting a prescribed and hopefully rigorous standard. In my view, despite some shortcomings, the new law has the potential to improve teaching in our schools. The key to success will begin at the negotiations table. Developing and implementing a rigorous evaluation system is up to you and your leadership team. Let's hope that this new law sets us on the path toward improving teaching and learning in all of our schools. Thank you.